blackberry, a weed of national significance. It's been a problem in Australia for over 150 years, basically ever since it was introduced. It's even a problem in its countries of origin, which is Western Europe. Now, have you ever thought why blackberry is so problematic? There are several reasons why this is so, and it's largely to do with the biology and reproduction of the plant. Let's look at seed production. The plant is able to actually reproduce by two means, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. With sexual reproduction, pollen is transferred to the stigma by insects and you get new genetic makeup within the seeds. But amazingly, blackberry is able to produce by asexual reproduction without any cross fertilization, so that each seed is an exact genetic makeup of the parent plant. Two means of reproduction by seed, and these are carried by birds into bushland, into farmland, where seedlings establish on bare, disturbed ground in particular. That's why it's so important that in controlling blackberry, we have competitive native vegetation or competitive pasture so that we reduce the opportunities for young seedlings to establish. Amazingly, blackberry has a second means of asexual reproduction. In the autumn period, when the canes grow, they bend over and the tips reach the ground. When they do this, an amazing thing happens. At the growth point, the plant proliferates and produces what we call daughter plants. There can be one, two, up to five or six new plants produced at the end of the cane. Each of these produces roots and is capable of producing a brand new blackberry plant. This enables the expansion of blackberry thickets and is a major contributor to the reproduction and the problems that we have with blackberry. The second means of reproduction is from roots. Even the finest roots, if left in the soil, on the surface of the soil or below, they'll re-sprout. So this means that cultivation is really a good mean of controlling blackberry. Tiny root segments left in the soil will re-sprout. After a bushfire, the top of the blackberry and the crown of the blackberry are destroyed, but roots are left deep in the soil. These, with time, eventually regrow, which is why we see a short pause in the abundance of blackberry after fire, but two to three years down the track, we end up with thick copses of blackberry. But the most important part of the blackberry is the crown. The crown is the woody structure that sits just below the soil surface. It's the heart of the blackberry plant. In this crown, it is able to store nutrition, carbohydrates that's produced from the leaves. Also within the crown are numerous points where new shoots can grow and develop into canes um, should the tops be reduced or eliminated by whatever means. When we're trying to control blackberry, we think about how we're going to deal with the crown and the bits below the ground. Herbicides, for example, need to be applied effectively and completely over the canopy of the plant so that they travel down the canes into this woody structure and destroy the buds that will allow canes to develop in the future and also be carried into the root system where uh, the roots will eventually be killed. Our biological control agents also need to work on this part of the plant either directly or indirectly. The blackberry rust fungus affects blackberry plants by defoliating the leaves off the canes. Now this organism will have an impact on blackberry growth, providing it occurs year after year after year. And with time, the photosynthetic material of the plant is reduced, and this has an impact on the food storage capacity of the crown. But the agents that we're really looking for and hoping to bring into the country in the future are ones that work directly on the crown itself. 
fungi that live within the canes, insects that bore within the crown itself are ones that will have potentially the greatest effect on biological control of blackberry. Going back to herbicides, keeping in mind that we need to affect as much of the top growth as the growth below the ground. Herbicides need to be applied at the right time of the year using the right product in the right sequence of events. Your agricultural supplier is able to supply information that will help you decide which product to use. Ask these questions. Is the herbicide specific to blackberry? Is it safe to use near water? How long will the herbicide live in the soil? Some herbicides are very short lived, others persist in the soil for some time. There are advantages and disadvantages with both of these. Have that discussion with your supplier and find the right product to use on your property. Getting the information, making a good decision and applying it properly first time will give you the best chance of controlling blackberry on your property. And remember, should the plants regrow, and there's a good chance that they might, get on top of that regrowth quickly. Blackberry is a weed of national significance and it needs hard action to control a plant that is very successful at surviving. If you need further information on the control of blackberry, go to the Victorian Blackberry Task Force website, or alternatively, contact them and obtain a copy of the Blackberry Control Manual, a wonderful publication with all the information you'd ever need on how to control Blackberry.